Here is your latest African news. Kenya. Kenyans to sue British Army over a wildfire that destroyed 12,000 acres. Kenya will drag the British Army to court in Nairobi after a local court allowed over 1,000 residents living near a British Army training base in the country to jointly seek damages alongside an environmental lobby group over a wildfire that destroyed 12,000 acres, 4.8 hectares. The fire broke out in March at the Lodaiga Conservancy in the country's central region during an exercise by British troops. The lobby group sued the British Army and the management of the Lodaiga Conservancy over the fire, seeking compensation for the area's residents. It also wanted the British Army and the Conservancy to bear responsibility for the restoration of their vegetation. The group argued that no measures were put in place to prevent wildfires as the British troops trained in the area. Local residents are now allowed to be part of this case. South Africa. South African woman gives birth to 10 babies, breaking the Guinness World Record. A South African woman has given birth to 10 babies, breaking the world record that was previously held by Malian woman Halima Sise, who gave birth to nine children in Morocco just this May. Gosiame Tamara Sitole, 37, underwent a cesarean operation to give birth to seven boys and three cute little girls, making her the Guinness record holder for the most children birthed by one woman at once. Reports further indicate that Sitole and her husband Debo Hotetsi were expecting eight babies but two babies had apparently missed the scan due to the fact that they were tucked inside the wrong tube. In May, a Malian woman had given birth to non-nuplets in Morocco breaking the record held previously by an American woman. Africa wide, Africans on social media cheer the Macron slap. A man appeared to slap French President Emmanuel Macron across the face during a visit to a small town in southern France. Mr. Macron leans in for a greeting, placing one hand on the arm of a man wearing a green t-shirt. The man then shouts, Manjoy Saint-Denis, down with Macron, as he winds up and appears to slap Mr. Macron's face causing the president's head to jerk to one side. African social media has been fascinated and raving about this event since and been saying that it's karma and payback for all the unfair French policies in Africa. French policies and involvement in Africa has recently come under fire and many people believe France needs to take a huge step back out of African affairs. Mali, good luck Jonathan in Bamako for ECOWAS mediation talks with new regime. Former Nigerian president Goodluck Jonathan arrived in Bamako on Tuesday with a delegation and once again as mediator of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, for talks with the new Malian government. Goodluck stated that there was once no major, ex there wasn't a major expectation and the key thing was just to have a conversation with the new head of government, now president, Goita. Africa wide, how should countries deal with historical atrocities? Germany recently apologized for the genocide of indigenous tribes in Namibia, but critics still say the compensation deal is an insult. It's been called the first genocide of the 20th century. More than 100 years ago, German soldiers killed tens of thousands of indigenous people from two ethnic groups in West Africa in what is now known as Namibia. Last week, Germany apologized and agreed to pay $1.3 billion for infrastructure projects over the next 30 years. But Namibia's vice president says that this is nowhere near enough. Descendants of the victims say it's an insult and does not provide them with any sort of reparation. Zambia, called to ban secondhand underwear in Zambia. A non-profit organization in Zambia has called for a ban on the importation and selling of second-hand underwear. Nelson Banda, the national coordinator of the Zambia National Men's Network for Gender and Development, said that the clothes, which are popular with men and with women, 
were an absolute health hazard. Despite being banned in 2017, officials never implemented it and the importation and sale of the garments still continues unbated, especially in the capital of Lusaka. Banda added that secondhand underwear had the potential to transmit diseases such as typhus and sex sexually transmitted infections. Trading in secondhand clothing, known locally as Salaula, is a source of livelihoods for many unemployed Zambians. East Africa, Kenya and Ethiopia celebrate a mobile phone deal. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Ibi Ahmed and President Uhuru Kenyatta of Kenya on Tuesday witnessed the official awarding of a telecommunications license to a consortium of private companies in Addis Ababa. The consortium will be the only privately owned mobile services provider as Ethiopia seeks to liberalize their economy. The issuance of an operating license is the first step in a journey expected to give Ethiopians an alternative to state-owned monopoly, monopoly Ethio Telecom. The two leaders themed the event monumental for Ethiopia. The consortium is led by Kenya's Safaricom, which will own 52% stake in the new business. The deal opens up more than $8 billion dollars. Um, worth of investment in 4G and 5G network across the country. The Global Partnership for Ethiopia further projects that up to 1.5 million jobs will be created. Senegal, IMF approves $650 million in aid for Senegal's COVID-19 recovery. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has approved $650 million in aid to Senegal to support the West African country's COVID-19 recovery. It said in a statement late on Monday, the announcement follows an earlier payment of $442 million to Senegal in April 2020, also to mitigate the economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic. The pandemic has hit the Senegalese economy hard and caused growth to contract to an estimated 1.5% in 2020 from 5.3% in 2019. The fund expects a modest recovery in 2021 with growth reaching 3.7% and forecast to reach 5.5% in 2022. The $650 million will be paid over 18 months with an immediate reimbursement of $187 million. The West African country said last week that it plans to raise $500 million from the debt market to create jobs for young people as part of a response to riots in March. It also issued 775 million euros in euro bonds. Thank you so, so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch our weekly news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest African news updates. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.